Hank Rogers is the founder of the Tetris Company. And if you have never played Tetris, please play it. It's amazing. It's an amazing game. I begged and pleaded my parents to get me a Game Boy so that I could play Tetris. That was really the only game that I really wanted for the Game Boy. It's one of those games that you can get addicted to and just keep playing. And in fact, we still have a Game Boy, or my wife Lisa has a Game Boy, and we will play it occasionally, and uh, it's still <laughs> under our coffee table. Hank Rogers founded the Tetris Company, and um, he's lived all over the world. He went to school at UH, and he, was, he moved back to Hawaii to um, continue his career. So now what he has is um, he runs the company Blue Planet Software, as well as Blue Planet Startups, some space travel, Mars programs, and just a really, really innovative, energetic, enthusiastic person, and um, just an amazing entrepreneur, and, and wants to help the world, and help new businesses start up. Just, just an amazing person. So we were so lucky to have to set up an interview with him and he was gracious enough to meet with us and uh, we spent some time just chatting. And the challenges that I'm facing today is that <clears throat> my mission is to end the use of carbon-based fuel and I'm not doing this for myself, I'm doing this for the next generation actually. What we need to do is think a little bit more about the future. We spend five billion dollars a year on oil. Uh, this is money that just straight up flows out of the economy. It's a tax <clears throat> that we pay on electricity, on transportation, but on everything else too. For example, food. Every step of the way, food gets transported. And it's all energy, and it's all oil-based energy. So what we need to do is make a switch over to renewable energy, indigenous renewable energy. You'd think that that was a no-brainer, but in fact, uh, they don't understand that it's going to get worse. <clears throat> and if they don't do something about it now, it's going to hurt not so much them, but, their, but our keikis. You know, our economy is going to go south if the price of oil goes north. There's a lot of negativity in, in Hawaii about the present economic situation. Uh, we don't have enough jobs, we have uh, homeless, you know, this and that and the other thing. But um, don't give up hope on Hawaii. So, that, so the, uh, the way I look at it is I, I look at it the other way. Uh, the fact that we're having economic problems means there's, there's all kinds of opportunity out there. These are, these are there are new businesses springing up that are waiting to solve the problems that we all have today. Um, for example, the energy problem, you know, we can start businesses to create new kinds of energy. Uh, those are all huge business opportunities. There, there probably hasn't been a time in history when the opportunity to start an energy business is bigger than it is now. It just requires uh, somebody that thinks, yeah, this, isn't, this is not a problem, it's a, an opportunity and then get the passion for that opportunity and follow your passion. Um, a lot of, you know, the, the older folks, they, they say this, that, and the other thing, and they've kind of lost their passion. But the, the young people, they have it. And so it really is up to the younger people to, to take that passion and, and inject it into the economy uh, and create the new jobs that, that we need in Hawaii, for example.